Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2020. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe. Today we're going to be covering Psalms 94 through 96 and Romans 15, 14 through 33. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice so that the reading of your word will be a blessing to you and all of those who have turned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Psalm 94 The Lord is a God who avenges. O God who avenges, shine forth. Rise up, judge of the earth. Pay back to the proud what they deserve. How long, Lord, will the wicked, how long will the wicked be jubilant? They put, they pour out arrogant words. All the evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, Lord. They oppress your inheritance. They slay the widow and the foreigner. They murder the fatherless. And they say, the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob takes no notice. Take notice, you senseless ones among the people. You fools, when you be, when will you become wise? Does he who fashioned the ear not hear? Does he who formed the eye not see? Does he who dis disciplines nations not punish? Does he who teaches mankind lack knowledge? The Lord knows all human plans. He knows that they are futile. Blessed is the one. Blessed is the one you disciples. You, blessed is the one you discipline, Lord. The one you teach from your law. You grant them relief from days of trouble till a pit of, is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not reject his people. He will never forsake his inheritance. Judgment will again be found on righteousness. And all the upright in heart will follow it. Who will rise up from for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against evildoers? Unless the Lord has given me uh, help, I would soon have dwelt in the silence of death. When I said my foot is slipping, you, your unfailing love, Lord, supported me. When anxiety was great within me, your constellation brought me joy. Consultation. Can, you, can a corrupt throne be allied with you? A throne that brings on misery be its decree, decrease. The wicked band together against the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my fortress and my God, the rock in whom I take refuge. He will repay them for their sins and destroy them for their wickedness. The Lord our God will destroy them. Psalm 95 Come, let us sing for your joy to the Lord. Let us shout out aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and exalt him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the King, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his foot, the sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, the flock under His care. 
today if only you would hear his voice don't do not harden your hearts as you did at Meribah as you did that day at Mesh Mesha in the wilderness where your ancestors teased me they tried me though they had seen what I did for 40 years I was angry with the great generations and I said there are people whose hearts go astray and they have not known my ways so I declared on oath in my anger they shall never enter my rest Psalm 96 sing to the Lord a new song Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods for all gods of the nations are idols but the lord made the heavens splendor and majesty are before him strength and glory are in his sanctuary ascribe to the lord all you families of nations ascribe to the lord glory and strength ascribe to the lord the glory due his name Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in his, the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. He will just, he will judge the people with equity. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, let the sea resound, and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant, and everything in them, and let the trees of the forest sing for joy. Let all creation rejoice before the Lord, for he comes, he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the people in his faithfulness. There you go. That was Psalms 94 through 96. And now we're going to move into Romans 15, 14 through 33. Paul, the minister, ministers to the Gentiles. Romans 15, 14. I myself am convinced, my brothers and sisters, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with knowledge and com com competent to instruct one another. Yet I have written you quite boldly, on some points to remind you of them again because of the grace of God gave me now to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles he gave me the priestly duties he proclaimed the gospel of God so that the Gentiles might become an offering acceptable to God sanctified by the Holy Spirit Therefore, I glory in Christ Jesus in my service to God. I will not venture to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me in leading the Gentiles to obey God by what I have said and done. By the power of signs and wonders, through the power of the Spirit of God, so from Jerusalem all the way around to Ilker, I have fully proclaimed the gospel of Christ. It has always been my ambition to preach the gospel where Christ was not known, so that I would not be building on someone else's foundation. Rather, as is, rather is as it is written, 
those who were not told about him will see, and those who have not heard will understand. That is why I have often been hindered from coming to you. But now that there is no more place for me to work in these regions, and since I have been longing for many years to visit you, I plan to do so when I go to Spain. I hope to see you while passing through and to have you assist me on my journey. There, after I have enjoyed your company for a while, and now, however, I am on my way to Jerusalem in the service of the Lord's people there. For Macedonia and Archaea were pleased to make a contribution for the poor among the Lord's people in Jerusalem. They were pleased to do it, and indeed they owe it to them. For the Gentiles have shared in the Jews' spiritual blessings. They owe it to the Jews to share with them their material blessings. So, after I have completed this task and have made sure that they have received this contribution, I will go to Spain and visit you on the way. I know that when I come to you, I will come in the full measure of the blessings of Christ. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit to join me in my struggles by praying to God for me. Pray that I may be kept safe from the unbelievers in Judea and that the contributions I take to Jerusalem may be favorably received by the Lord's people there so that I may come to you with joy, by God's will, and in your company be refreshed. The God of peace will the God of peace be with you all. Amen. There you have it. That was Romans fifteen, fourteen through thirty three. That concludes the Bible with Briscoe twenty twenty for today. Tomorrow we'll be covering Psalms 97 through 99 and Romans 16. Father, I just thank you for your word so that I may have been a messenger of your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. Thank you, folks, for tuning in from all around the world to the Bible with Briscoe. I have enjoyed being your messenger of the word. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope that you are too.